hello civil engineers welcome back to the lecture so in this lecture we'll try to see how to take out the quantities for the combined footing okay that is a bbs for a combined footing now one thing you need to understand in the combined footing what will happen in the isolated footing we used to have a bottom mesh that is this is bottom mesh on the longer span and we have a on the shorter span this was the isolated footing isn't it but in case of combined footing what will happen same thing you will have a bar in the longer span you'll have a bar in the shorter span also but this is in the bottom reinforcement. In the same way, on the top also, you'll be having a bar in the longer direction and you'll have a bar in the shorter direction. So that's the only change what you'll get in the combined footing, which you can appreciate here also. If I try to drag this particular image, so just observe here what has happened. So you can see the bar is in the bottom also. Okay, longer span and shorter span. And similarly, in the top also, we are providing a reinforcement. Okay, very simple. So for this, I'll teach you how the BBS has to be done. So already I've prepared and kept it. First, I'll explain you. Then we can try to prepare the same Excel sheet. Okay. Yeah. So in our drawing, we had a footing that is F6, which was a C plan they had written. C plan means it's a combined footing. They did, they did not mention it here. And also you remember, whenever you check the drawing, no one will mention you that isolated footing, combined footing and all. The moment you see if any footing has a top reinforcement, most of the time it will be your combined footing okay like this is shorter that is bottom reinforcement whereas only for this footing that is f6 footing they have given the top reinforcement so usually the meaning is that it is a combined footing now another case is that it's not that all the time whenever you have a top reinforcement it will be a combined footing no that is not the case there are every chance even isolated footing will have a bottom and the top reinforcement so remember my words there's every chance you have a you have a isolated footing but you will get the reinforcement even in the bottom and also on the top. Usually this happens in case of uh, industrial structures and all, uh, where I had given you the assignment for the plinth beam and all. No? So those are industrial structure. There, even though it is even, even though it is a isolated footing, you get the reinforcement in the bottom and also in the top. The reason is that they, the uh, load coming on the footing is more and it is subjected to wind pressure and all. Because of that case, what we do, we try to provide top reinforcement also. But don't be under the impression that wherever the top reinforcement will come, only that is combined footing. No, that is not the case. Okay, fine. This much is understood. Now we'll go forward. So in this, what will happen? We have written like F6 footing and just uh, see the size of the footing. It is, uh, I see the size is not given here. In that case, you have to come to the AutoCAD. And once you come to the AutoCAD, uh, yeah, this is my footing. Okay. Yeah, so this is my F6 footing. You can see this is F6 footing and I've given the size here. I mean, I've taken a dimension outer to outer. It is 3000 mm and from here to here also it is 3000. That means the size is 3000 by 3000. Great. So that is the same thing I've written. Size is uh, 3000 by 3000 coming to the depth of the footing. Okay. Uh, yeah. Coming to the depth of the footing. The depth is given here. The depth won't be shown here. You have to come here in the C plan. Hmm. What is the depth? F6 footing, it is 500. So I'll input 500 here. So I've written 500. Uh, where is that? Yeah, I didn't update. Yeah, so this should be 500. Okay, write 500. Done. Great. So the same thing I've done here. Length is 3000, breadth is 3000, and depth is 500. So first we'll start with the bottom bar. Here I didn't write bottom bar, top bar, because it is understood it is an isolated footing, only the bottom reinforcement will come. But here I'm writing, first I'll do the bottom bar. Then I'll go with the top bar and you'll see the shape of the top bar. It is something like this bottom bar. It is like this. Okay. I'll teach you all these things, how it has to be done. Now coming to the bottom bar again, same shape you have to draw. Okay. Uh, nothing is changed. The method remains the same. Uh, you, you'll write here F6 bar along the shorter span, F6 bar along the longer span. How many footings are there? This isolated, this uh, combined footing of F6, how many are there? So if you go back to the drawing, it is written only one. So only one number, even in the plan, you can see. This is only one number here, only one footing we have. So I written one here. Okay. Now come to the diameter of the bar. This also you need to input. No, go back to the drawing, come to the F6 footing. So observe this part. What it says. So it says that you're supposed, you're supposed to make use of a 10 diameter bar at 150 center to center spacing in the longer direction in the bottom. Similarly, 10 diameter at 150 center to center in the bottom in the shorter span even in the top reinforcement you're supposed to provide 10 diameter at 150 10 diameter at 150 so your calculation will be very simple now so what you do come here go back to the excel sheet 
input 10 diameter at 150. Here also you input 10 diameter at 150. Now coming to the number of bar. How do you find number of bar? I want to find the number of bar in the shorter span. So what I'll do, I'll take the longer span that is 3000 minus 50 minus 50 divide by spacing of the shorter span, which is 150 plus one. So same thing I've done it here. See, where is that? Yeah, what I've done round up always remember in Excel sheet, you have to write round up 3000 minus 50 minus 50 divide by spacing that is 150 here plus one comma zero. So if you do this, you'll get 21 number of bar. Okay. Now come to the coming to the cutting length. So cutting length, what you do? See, yeah, cutting length, what you do? Cutting length will be, how do you find? Very simple, 2900 plus 267 plus 267 minus four times the D because I have 190 degree bend here, another 90 degree bend here, okay? So 2900 plus 267 plus 267 minus four into diameter of the bar, which was 10, okay? So you'll get 3393 mm. So this is in mm, I'll convert this into meter divided by thousand, got it? Now we'll find the total cutting length. So total cutting length will be cutting length of one bar, which was a 3.393. I'll multiply this by number of bar, which is 21. Multiply this by number of member. That is number of F6 footing, which is only one. So if you multiply this, this, and this, this, and this, you get 71.260 meter. Now we'll find the weight of the bar. This is in running meter, no? We have to find the weight of the bar. So weight of the bar, it's a 10 diameter bar. And for 10 diameter bar, the weight is 0 0.617 kg per meter. So what I'll do? 71.260 I'll multiply by 0 0.617 which will give me 43.967 kg of a steel is required. So my shorter span is done. Now come to the longer span. Again, I've written F6 bar along the longer span. Uh, one number. Again, uh, of course, if you see the drawing, you're shorter and longer. Both are 10 at 150, 10 at 150. So that is why I've written again 10 at 150. How many number of bar? Obviously, this also will come 21 because your length and breadth both are same. Your spacing is also same. That is why 21 has come. Still, you have to write equal to sign, round up. Now, you want to find the bar in the longer span. See, always remember this method. Even though the dimensions are same, it's okay. You apply the logic. I want to find the number of bar in the longer span. So what I'll do, I'll take a shorter span. So shorter span is 3000. So 3000 minus 50 minus 50 divided by spacing of longer span, which is actually 150 plus one. I have to do comma and zero. If I do, it will take the next higher value, which will come 21. So cutting length, cutting length will be how oh, it's very simple. So cutting length will be again 2900 plus 267 plus 267, which will end minus the bend reduction minus four into D. Okay. 3393. So this will be in meter. So again, this total cutting length will be again same. 3.393 multiply by 21 multiply by 1 will give me the total cutting length. Again, weight will be same because 71.260 is a cutting length of the bar of this F6 footing. And what is the weight of a 10 diameter bar? Because we are using a 10, so it comes out to be 0 0.617. Got it? So in this way, I have explained you for the bottom bar. And whatever we did for isolated, same thing is here. Now the question is about the top bar. How do you do the top bar? Nothing. It's very simple. If you observe the drawing here, this practical, you will get an idea. Wherever your bottom reinforcement has gone, you have to tell me a few things. Wherever your long, bottom reinforcement longer span has gone, isn't that in, even in the top position, the length is also same? Agree with me? Obviously, top position, whatever L you are given, bottom also same thing will go, right? That means one conclusion you can draw. Whatever my bottom longer span length I got, same thing I need to write in the top. Got it? Second thing, whatever is your shorter span, whatever is your bottom shorter span length, that is L and whatever length you got, isn't that the same? Even on the top also you have done the same thing. Top also it is same thing. That means nothing will change. Only the shape of the bar is changing. In bottom when I am giving a shape, my shape will be like this. This will go to the top. And when I am giving at the top, my shape will be in this way. Right? Agree with me? Same thing practically you can see also. Right? That's the only changes. You're, that is the only change you are supposed to do. Right? So that is why in the Excel sheet, what I've done, I've written top bar now. How do you do this? Again, you know how to do this? It's pretty simple. Okay. What I've done is I had just copied the same thing from here. I copied it here. I did control C. Okay. And I pasted it here. Okay. I pasted it here and told it is uh, F6 footing and all those changes I had done. Okay. And then what I did, no? Then I inserted two rows here. 
here here i insert in click your click your mouse here keep your mouse here and say control and plus so the moment you do control and plus two rows will be inserted and you can merge it in this way select say merge at center now you write here bottom reinforcement see all these things you should do okay bottom reinforcement done if you want to change the color to differentiate i'll give a red color not red i'll give uh, a blue color yeah so bottom reinforcement will be done now for the top reinforcement what you do for the top reinforcement you just select this select it in this way come here give a white color okay you give a white color now this much area you can utilize now again what you'll do you make and make use of this border option draw border now you draw the border like this see one okay come here yeah draw border two and three so this is top reinforcement your shorter span you did and then leave two three spaces space and come here this is your another one finish done you got the shape else you can use you make use of this insert button illustration shape and this the normal method what i thought you know and that also you can do okay it's totally up to you to follow whichever you want instead of doing this shape method follow this border method it's easy actually okay done so this is done next what you're supposed to do you write here you just select this portion merge at center and right here it is top bar now it's understood so then you can decorate it bring it the center and uh, then you take this uh, make it bold and uh, color we have given blue and if you want increase the font finish bottom reinforcement uh, or you can write top reinforcement okay done finish so next what you're supposed to just copy this whatever you have written from here no you say control c and bring it somewhere here okay bring it center here else you can do one more thing you can even arrange this properly why you just merge these two cell this two will be one okay first you do that merge it in this way so that this will come in the same line you're getting my point no because it should look good that is why i'm doing all this thing otherwise it's not actually required it's not actually required because if tomorrow somebody asks you excel sheet it should be in a readable format even he should find it good while reading done so this one i've done you can erase if an extra comes you say no border it will go and then you select and then say thick border okay done this is also not required come here or even you can say erase border and now you can erase it in this way okay okay don't yeah, erase now what you do now you copy this say control c bring it here and say control v okay it cannot be done no problem then you write it then you say control c paste it here control v okay and now you increase all these things hmm? it will take some time if you can copy you can copy sometimes that will not happen not an issue so what is a footing uh, name it is actually f6 footing not f9 okay so write f6 write uh, f6 footing okay this also f6 okay done now now come to the number of member it is one no i'll input one here so first let me do that select take it to the top middle increase the font of that and then do this also so that you have to don't have to change every time okay what is the dia of your top bar so dia is also again 10 diameter at 150 longer direction b2 means shorter direction in the top okay 10 at 150 so what you do 10 at 150 so dia is again 10 and spacing is again 150 okay done next what we'll do we'll find the number of bar now to find the number of bar we have to input this no so what will be this portion you are doing a shorter span for sh a shorter span so plus open the bracket okay so what you do first okay we need to change few things no i didn't do that anyhow we'll do it quickly so this is actually 3000 this is also 3000 this was 500 isn't it yeah this also i'll change this was uh, 3000 this was also 3000 and this was 500 okay 
got it no you also try to do along with me don't wait hmm? yeah now this will come so you can round it up plus we'll write round up okay why this is coming because again we should round it up okay and this will write comma zero and close the bracket it's not coming so you have to open the bracket again open the bracket close the bracket and now it's okay you got know why this is coming because the decimal point will come whenever the decimal point comes you should say round up or how many open brackets you get no that much close bracket you should do sometimes see now if i don't give this bracket it will show error see this error will come whenever you get an error something like this, it means that the number of open bracket and close brackets are not matching so now you see how many open brackets are there one two open bracket is there and here another three open bracket so one close bracket two close bracket and three close bracket and hit enter now it is all right okay so if you get such problem that means your open bracket and close bracket are not matching try to see if you open three then close three okay great fine so once this is done yeah ah, this answer we have verified now you see this is matching no how much we got here 71 to 6 uh, this is also 74 we are getting here okay i'll verify it okay so that uh, we, okay this is 150 no spacing now it should be all right yeah now it is all right see 71 to 74 71 260 260 here small changes will happen it's okay no issues we'll go with this only hmm? yeah 10 at 150 now you infill this i mean yeah plus open bracket so shorter span no shorter span is how much 3000 minus 50 minus 50 close the bracket okay 2900 so bring it at the center bring it at the center make it bold if you want change the color to the red and this also you change it got it how it has to be done finish now here you don't input again i mean you don't have to write again simply interlink it that means plus just click on this click on this part okay and hit enter i mean click here plus this portion enter finish same thing it will copy again here also plus you can copy this or you can interlink this anything is okay interlink this and then this has gone to the side click on this and bring on the left side okay this also correct so click both make it red in color make it bold and change it finish looks good no now everything is correct now number of bar how do you find the number of bar so for number of bar again we have to do round up okay open the bracket then two times you have to open the bracket so we are finding along the shorter span if you are finding along the shorter span i do i need to take the longer span so longer span is 3000 minus 50 on the left side minus 50 on the right side close the bracket divide by spacing what is the spacing 150 now it's not visible i'll directly write 150 okay uh -huh. so this 150 when you write again you have to write this you have to open the bracket okay and close the bracket finish then you write plus one comma zero bracket close two times and enter okay again that error is coming the error is again for the very same reason three open brackets and uh, this close bracket is not matching put uh, yeah now it should because why this error came no i gave two open brackets this time so what happened one two and three open brackets are there but closing bracket you see one two four brackets so again it didn't match that is why i got this error so in that case what you do you deduct one thing okay that's it now it will be all right see 21 number of bar i got here also i got 21 correct no Fine. now find the cutting length so cutting length you know plus what you do 2900 plus exactly 267 plus 267 then what you do minus open the bracket 4 into d 4 into multiply by d d is how much 10 diameter bar close the bracket how much you're getting 3394 3394 again this answer is cutting length in meter so what you do this answer you divide it by 1000 so you can put uh, bracket and you can do that also it will be correct okay after that now come to the total cutting length so total cutting length will be how much cutting length in meter multiply by number of bar multiply multiply by how much number of member 
that's it we'll get 71.274 71.274 same thing why because this and this will obviously match okay here also you see i got the same thing 71.260 that small variation is okay fine now come to the weight of the bar weight of the bar we are using a 10 diameter no come here plus 71.26 into 10 diameter bar is 0 0.617 and enter finish how much we got 43 you can uh, keep it to two decimal yeah okay two decimal it will come 44.00 here we got 43.960 which is close to 44 only okay done finish no so the top one you have finished if you want you put dash here all these things you can put dash 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 now come to this portion again this portion what you will do so this is shorter now this is your longer one so again do the same thing longer also will be plus open the bracket so for the longer what is the size you have longer is 3000 minus 50 minus 50 close the bracket now you may ask sir whether we can interlink this instead of writing can we interlink you can interlink but don't follow that method the reason is that here length and breadth both are same so if you interlink nothing will nothing will change tomorrow you may get a footing where length is 3000 and breadth is 2500 in that case you have to do it separately that is why i'm teaching you separately okay fine so again bring it the center And now this you can interlink because this anyhow will not change. This you can interlink, not an issue. Okay. Fine. Done. No? Click on both of this. I mean, click on this. Bring on the left. Make it red color. Change this font. You can make it bold also. Click on this. Make it bold. And red in color. Okay. Done. No? Finish. Now this looks good. Now these things again you need to copy. Try to copy. Say control C. And uh, uh, before that you know. You just merge it. Otherwise uh, it will not look good. So these three you merge together. In this way. Okay. Once you merge. Say merge at center. And then. Thick box and yeah, box box will come. Okay, now again select this, say control C, put here control V. Yeah, now it will come, no problem. Okay, so only the thing is uh, shorter, you change this one to as longer span because now I'm finding the longer span direction. Okay, I hope you are able to understand these things. Rest things anyhow you are interlink, but make sure it is correct because since you have interlink, okay, anyhow we'll make it correctly. Uh, longer span one bar, ten diameter one fifty. So number of bar you change it. Number of bar what we'll do? Uh, we are finding the longer span, so I need to take the shorter span. The shorter span is three thousand here and hit the enter. Yeah, so twenty one I got. Cutting length is same. This is correct. This is also correct. Here what will happen? This will change into 0 0.617 because it's a 10 diameter bar hit the enter got it no both are 44 and 44 correct and here also you see everything 43 43.967 we got even if you want you can make it as 44 also if you decrease this no yeah it will become 44 here not an issue okay see here also we got got it no how it has to be done now what you can do you just can uh, yeah just select this and make this as give one thick box uh, fine here so done and then uh, you can merge this thing so select this and say merge at center now this will be this will look good so here you can give a border now to make it look good select that this border you give so it will look good and uh, this also you select like this and say one border now it looks good got it no so this is your combined footing if you want to mention combined footing here if you want else not required okay everything is correct yes fine so bottom reinforcement is done top reinforcement is done okay great so i hope you have enjoyed the lecture up to here you're able to understand how the combined footing reinforcement has to be done okay 
So try to prepare the Excel sheet. It's very simple preparing the Excel sheet. And once you uh, interlink and all, just try to verify your answers. Okay. Yeah. Because why I'm telling is in this drawing, whatever we have there, it was easy for our calculation because 10 at 150, 10 at 150, everywhere it is 10 at 150. Now in, in some other drawing, you may get where your bottom reinforcement is 10 at 150, 10 at 150. Top is, let us say 10 at 200. So in that case, what we do, we write 200 here, write 200 here. Accordingly, your answer should change. So did it change? It didn't change, isn't it? Because spacing, yeah, it didn't change because we had not interlinked. So in that case, this 150 will become 200. Okay. 200 and this will become also 200. Okay. I'll tell you how it has to be interlinked. I'll interlink because last time I didn't get chance that because it was not, a, it was not showing. Now we'll interlink this. Okay. See. Okay. What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. And now here also I'll interlink. Okay. So when I interlink, no, so this will change automatically. See your answer also got changed. No? Now let us say instead of 200, your spacing was 250. Now you see everything will change 13. This also is 250 finish. Got it. So that is why you have to interlink. Now, instead of 10 diameter, let us say in AutoCAD, instead of 10 diameter, it is 12 diameter. I'll change everything here. Let us say you are working on a project where you got this as 12. Instead of 10, it is 12. And this spacing, I'll go with the 225. Okay. 225. One thing. And here also it is 12 only. Usually that changes will not happen. The structure consultant will not make it so much, you know, uh, so much changes will not happen, but still for our calculation, I'm doing, and I'll say this, we are going to place it uh, 250. Okay. Usually that doesn't happen. Okay. As far as possible, the structure consultant will try to give 150, 150 top also will keep it 150 only, even though 225 is a requirement, we go with same so that execution point of view, it will, it will not be a problem. That is why most of the structural drawing, it will remain same, but in few places and all due to some condition, we try to change. It's okay. Okay. So this is L2 is longer. Okay and B2 is shorter span. Okay. Okay. Shorter it is 250. Longer it is 225. What you do? Shorter, no? So shorter you make it as uh, uh, 225 and longer it is how much? Two. Okay. Shorter it is 250, no? B2. It is 250. 250 and this is 225. Okay. How did I identify? I written shorter here. So this is shorter. B2 means shorter span. And L2 is longer span, 225. So longer I've written 225. And diameter, what I've done, both are 12, 12. So what we'll do? Here also 12. Okay. And here also 12. Done. Now you see, everything got changed, isn't it? That is why you have to interlink in the Excel sheet. Everything will change. Simple. So if you get a problem, something like this, it will change. In the same way, I'll change the dimensions also. Instead of this dimension, I mean, now I'll not change. I'll show here. Only. Instead of this uh, 300 by 300, let us say you have a, footing which is 4500 and this is uh, 2500 so automatically everything also will change here you see everything got changed isn't it that is why you have to interlink everything so that it is easy for you to for you to do the calculation great so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here and i've explained you everything regarding the combined footing how the bbs has to be done i've given you different case studies also how it should be done so We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.